Praise the Lord. Morning Manna, August 4th. Contrasting Sufferings and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, Genesis 1, 7. Not only has the Lord set a firmament in the midst of the waters, but he has also divided the waters under the firmament from the waters above the firmament. What a great comfort it is to know that the waters are divided thus. Indeed, the afflictions of children of God who live above the firmament, in heavenly places, are quite different from the afflictions of the wicked or worldly people who live under the firmament. While the waters below are often salty and hence weighty, the vapor from the waters above, that forms the rain, is tasty and of light weight. No surprise then that St. Paul describes our sufferings as light affliction which is but for a moment, 2 Corinthians 4, 17. Why for a moment? Yes. Any moment the vapor may disappear by cooling and come down as rain. While the waters above are only for a moment, the waters below remain for ages without any change. Similarly, for children of God, all the sufferings will soon be over, either at his coming or at their home call, but for sinners, like the endless sea water, while living on the earth and also after death, their sufferings will keep aggravating and engulfing their lives. While sea waters cast up mire and dirt, becoming a curse for one and all, vapors in the firmament turn into showers, cooling the dry earth and watering the plants and quenching the thirst of all the living beings on earth, as showers of blessing. Take heart therefore, dear child of God, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us, and for others, a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Thank you for listening. Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Have a day, of being upheld by God's love. Subscribe, and press the bell icon below for more biblical creatives. Your subscription and share may bring blessings to many.